This is not the, ooh, uh, sorry, wrong one, wrong one. This is not the Mafex Deadpool. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raphulus, and welcome back to another This Is Not video. If you're wondering if this is the real deal, no, it is not. Even though the box looks good, this is not the Mafex Deadpool. This is a fake, this is a clone, this is a KO, this is a knockoff, this is a bootleg, this is something that you get from eBay or AliExpress because you said, hey, this thing's only 20 bucks and I don't want to spend $100 on the real one, and then you get it and you realize, oh, it might not be that good. Well, from the way it looks, it actually does look good. So we're gonna open this up and we're gonna see if it's any good. I got this for $20 on AliExpress. This is a fake Deadpool. Uh, one way you can tell if it's fake, if you get it in, in the mail and it's taped like this, also its origin is from China. Usually these come from China or AliExpress or when you go on AliExpress, it comes from China. Or if you go on eBay, notice the origin of where it comes from. And if it's from China, most likely it's a fake. But let's see if it's any good. No need to judge this. The one I have right here is uh, a fake one. But I do have the real deal, which we will compare later on. First and foremost, let's see if this is any good when it comes to paint and detail, articulation and scale, and accessories. All right now that we shine some light on here, let's see if there's any paint defects. That's usually what happens when you buy a clone. Uh, so far, not much. Maybe we got some smudges here, which honestly you cannot really see if you were looking at just the front, um, mostly here on the butt and the leg. Um, we do have some paint defects right here on the holsters right there. Looks like they didn't paint that very well. Uh, quality control on this isn't as good as the real deal. When I got the real deal, it was pretty good. We actually have a matte finish on top, which is something that I usually don't see on clones. Usually they don't even bother to put that matte finish. But as you can see, they did not put a matte finish here on the abdomen. And you have a glossy uh, finish right there. And also some red smudges right there. There's just paint defects on this guy. Uh, not enough for me to say that it's pretty bad. Actually, it's not awful considering that you are paying $20 for this action figure and the real deal is about $100 shipped. So not bad at all. So let's do a joint check. This is quality control check. Uh, looks like we have a flippity floppity head right there. That thing is not tight at all. Looks like the ball joint is not made for that. Uh, let's see. Let's mess around with the arms. Hopefully nothing breaks off. That's usually the case whenever I mess with these. Uh, everything seems pretty tight. Can he kick? Yeah, he can kick. Oh, yeah, look at this. Not, and the leg falls out. <laughs> uh, this is a common thing I've noticed. Don't worry, you can just pop that guy right back. Um, front kick, side kick, yeah. Articulation check is there. Only thing wrong is paint defects. So, to my surprise, this Deadpool is starting off pretty well. Wow, usually Mafexes are really bad. The Mafex John Wick clone had a really long neck and a terrible face, but we do not even get a Wade Wilson face. So, um, yeah, <laughs> how can we tell if it's going to be good or not? All you get is a mass face, so you're good to go. So now that we have that out of the way, let's go into articulation and scale. So here we have Deadpool standing up tall. Let's see how tall he's standing. He is standing at about six a little bit under six and a half inches, which I believe the real one is like this. So this is actually to scale, but we'll see now that we have the real one right here. And look at that. So it does seem like the real one is a hair taller. Yeah, definitely. So the scale on the fake is not exactly, but honestly, from when I just took them out of the box, I couldn't tell if it was a scale smaller. Wow, actually this is kind of interesting. Um, he is scaled a little bit smaller, but not enough for me to say it's terrible. Usually when they scale them down, the clones, they're like so bad that you can tell. Like the muscles and the arms are really small and stuff like that. The legs are short, the torso is short. But when you look here, um, there's not much of a difference, honestly. Honestly. Uh, I, I think it's okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to think it's okay. I... I I was expecting this figure to be really bad, but no, nah, this isn't bad. 
it's not enough for me to say it's bad. So, yeah, definitely not to scale, but not enough for me to say it's awful. So there you go. That's not bad at all. So let's compare him to a uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku from SH Figures. As you can see, they do scale really well. And, of course, we have Wolverine um, from Marvel Legends. As you can see, these two scale really well. Last but not least, Keanu Reeves. We have Keanu Reeves here. from. This is the real deal from John Wick Chapter 2. From Mafex, as you can see, these two work really well. So there you have it. All right, now let's move into articulation. We have an up and down here at the toe. Obviously, it's always tight when it comes to the up and down at the toe. Let's see, does the real one have that issue? No. No issues here. Uh, maybe a little bit. Uh, yeah, so the toes are always naturally tight. The only one that really gets this right is the real deal SH figure art. So this is a really tight up and down at the toe. You do get a double jointed knee right there, ball joint here at the crotch. You get two here at the midsection. He can do some serious ab crunches. We have butterfly joints right here so he can hug himself just like the real deal. And yeah, the bicep is indeed a swivel. And we have a double jointed elbow right there we have the ball and peg there at the wrist and two at the neck my issue here with the neck is this is super super loose but nothing that kiki joint tightener can't handle um, if i want to keep this that is so yeah not bad oh also all his individual pouches do go up and down just like the real deal as well so this is pretty awesome i'd have to say well for a fraction of the cost you're getting a really good good looking and solid quality figure. Nothing's too loose except for the head. Uh, yeah, he can pose just like the real deal. Wow, I, I'm pretty impressed. I'm not going to lie. Now let's go into accessories. Let's see how these are. You get an assortment of hands, which we will go over at the end of the video. Uh, we will go over the heads right now. Uh, let's see. So you do get the uh, regular squinty eyes and you do get the one, uh, the people's eyebrow look. And we're going to switch these out. And one thing I'm going to test also is if you can put this on the real deal, as you can see, this is looks this looks really cool right there. And, of course, we have the squinty eyes. Now, this is the real one. Let's just get this out of the way right now. Can you put the fakes on? Ah, whoa. Oh, nope. <laughs> That's a big nope. And I wonder why. So there we go. That's probably why. Uh, because the figure is indeed scaled just a little bit smaller, the ball joint is indeed smaller as well and you get a bigger ball joint here and it's made for the fake so if you put the fake on there that is not going to fit that is so unfortunate so if you're looking to replace heads um you can do it it's not impossible okay you're going to have to shave this down in order for it to work uh with probably like a sanding stick or something like that in order to uh, to fit it in here that is if you lost your original deadpool deadpool heads so that's kind of sad that it doesn't do it right off the bat. So, no, they are not interchangeable. The ball joint on the real deal is way too big. So there you have it. Those are the heads. Let's get let's outfit him with his classic swords. Um, it doesn't look yeah. So here we go. This is the when the, these are supposed to go in, and then you can take them out and then you can put it on him. So let's just put this uh the holsters on right now. Let's see if it's can fit. And they do. Hmm, very nice. And there you have it right there. Um, let's go over the swords. Now, I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to this figure, not just to collect, but also to have it for parts for your real deal. Because, you know, you spend like $80 to $100. You need parts, and you need to see if they're compatible. So here, let's see. Let's just put this sword on him right now. So, yeah, the sword does kind of work. On the real deal, then again, I think I have the wrong hand. Um, actually, let's see right here. So this is the real deal. Let's get a sword hand on the real deal. Uh, doesn't look like... Yeah, you, you're going to have to work these in. That's what I thought. So these are... Since they're scaled smaller, the real deal will not fit like a glove. You really have to work this. Probably sand this down or heat it up to make it fit. So we're just going to put it on the fake. So the fake does fit, obviously. And there you have it. There he is with a sword.
That looks pretty cool. Let's get another sword in on him. Why not? There you have it. There you have it. And there you have it. You have him with the dual swords, and that looks pretty sharp. Oh. There you go. Hmm. Pretty cool. Okay, last thing I want to do before we end this video, we're going to look at, uh, obviously, we're going to look at all the other hands um, later. Uh, so you get pointy hands and stuff like that. We're going to put that in the in the showcase. What I really want to look at right now is I want to get some little armory guns and put it on him. So the, the number one problem with the Mafex that everyone complained about was you get a dead cool Deadpool figure, but you get, like, no guns. Like, come on, guys. Come on, Mafex. You at least gave us, like, four guns with the with the John Wick Chapter 2, 2 figure. I don't know why you didn't give us any guns for the Mafex Deadpool. So all we're going to do is see if how it looks on him. Now, Little Armory works with certain... Uh, action figures mostly the Japanese or import figures so this should look really good on him and there you have it that's him with a 249 ooh look at that there you go that looks sick oh that works okay that gotta get other guns on him the AA-12 uh, fully automatic shotgun that looks really solid right there. Yeah, as you can see, it does work. All of them fit and look really good on him, I'd have to say. Uh, let's get the Marauder um, SR-25 or AR-10. And there you have it. You can have him sniping with the Marauder 112 scale guns. There you go. So if you have a bunch of little armory guns, which you can get at dstartoys.com or anywhere else, uh, yeah, they do work with the clones, so that is indeed confirmed. So let's come up with the conclusion of this figure. Do I love this clone? Yes. Wow. Clone of the year. I have really no issues uh, besides the paint, but it's like when I first saw him in the box, it wasn't that big of a deal. Honestly, I didn't even notice it until I looked super close. Um, the details are there, just like the real deal. This is one of my favorite Deadpool figures. Uh, he's a little bit shorter, but honestly, it's not enough for me to mind. Uh, usually, like I said before, when it comes to scale of clones, they're usually really, really small. But this one's just a hair small. Um, sad part is the head and hands aren't interchangeable without some modification. But honestly, if you're just getting this, if you don't have this figure already and you want to get one at an affordable price, I hate to say this, this is not a bad deal. There you go. Wow. Anyway, guys, that's all that we have for today. If you're looking for 100% authentic action figures, you can always go to www.dstartoys.com, a reliable source for awesome action figures. And also, we've got a giveaway going on right now. Next week, I'll be giving away six clones. That's right. You heard me. Six bootlegs and clones. This one could possibly be in it, so you got to enter in that giveaway. I know you all have been entering in the giveaway. You are there forever once you are entered, so go in the description down below, enter that giveaway, and I will be giving these out as a thank you Christmas gift to all my subscribers. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.